Okay, so you have your images are actually pretty large. If I go ahead and click on one of your images, look how big this thing is. So when you are loading them on your store, there it has to download all that data. So you want to make them so that they're smaller for your store. So if I look at your store here, this is uh, 270 pixels wide. So you can actually crop these and make them larger if you want. There's a great website. It's called PickResize.com. So let me open up another browser. Go to Pick Resize. And um, I'm going to go ahead and grab your image here. And I'm going to save that. All blue here. And I'll just put it here for now. Okay. So that's that really, really big image. So now what I do is I go to pickresize.com. And um, it gives you, you know, a browse. You can browse and go find the, comp the image that I just uploaded or saved. I'm sorry. You would actually go find the image on your computer. Uh, in this case, it is this large humongous engine right here. Uh, so then you actually click on just continue, resize, crop effects. Okay. And then it gives you all these... Uh, options. Uh, you don't need all that white space on there. I would just crop it. So I'd grab, just start uh, left click and drag across. This is actually a perfect size right here. So if I grab this and let me go in just a little bit. Oops, let me start over. There we go. That shows your product image. It'll make it nice and big. Okay. So then I select crop selection. And it actually gives me a crop selection. Now down here, I scroll down some more and I can resize it. So what I want to do is, see I, that's the original, it's huge. So I want to make, um, do a custom screen size. And I want it to be 270 pixels wide. I'm going to leave the, uh, the height uh, blank, okay? I don't need any effects on here. I want this image format to be JPEG, all right? I'm going to scroll down here and then I select, I'm done, resize my picture. What it does is it goes to the next screen, okay? And this kind of seems time consuming. If you had Photoshop, it'd be a lot faster. Um, and you don't want to download the zip, it'll just take too long. So, what you do is just select um, Save to Disk, and then it's going to um, download. It's going to name it, though, something like R, S, whatever. So, if I look in my uh, downloads here, wherever your computer downloads it to, you can just rename it back to. Uh, whatever you want to call it. In this case, it put it on my desktop and it called it RSZ Wild Blue. So if you're downloading them to your downloads folder or to your desktop, it's going to have that RSZ. You want to, you don't have to touch it. And so what I would th then do is go back into the Miva administration, into the admin, okay? And I'm going to find this product, you know, V-neck Rose Sleep Shirt, and I would change out the image with this new one. Um, I'm sure you know how to do that. Remember what the password is. All right, I'll figure that out. Anyway, that's how you do it. You upload it, and then you, you do that for each of them. So then you just go back to pick resize, and you do each image, and then resize them that way. That way they'll be smaller. Okay?